I'm Rachel Goff, and today I'm working on the lovely Betty to do my short-legged terrier grooming. So Betty has a few little things just we're going to work with to compensate today. For sure, she's got a really thick undercoat on her back that can look really jagged when you cut it too short or use the wrong blades. So we do a lot of carding to get the undercoat out. However, she has very thin, little, and very little undercoat on her skirt. So it's a little thin and wispy. And her head also kind of thin and wispy, so I have moves to that as best as we can to really work on that perfect round head. So today I'm going to use an Andesty shedding tool to get a lot of this extra thick undercoat off of her jacket. And I'm going to go over her legs as well. I've already brushed her and done all my prepping. She's perfectly combed out. Done my feet, done my sanitary work. She is shedding a lot today, so I've already got a lot out with the dryer and my regular brush and comb. She does have a nice little bit of texture in her tail, and her skirt feels quite wiry. There's just nothing else there because I have those long guard hairs. do the carding to try to help keep some nice texture to her coat. Because even though she's just a happy house pet, we do want her to look her very best. nicest Westie we work on. We work on a lot of really nice Westies, to be honest. We are very lucky to have lots of wonderful terriers here. But Betty is by, by far one of the sweetest with the nicest owners who will let me play with her extra <laughs> and longer, who also keeps her in more of a traditional style. We do a lot of Westies in modified pet clips, you know, nice water oak home all over and such things. wide toothed Andis. It feels like I've gotten about as much as I'm going to get out with her today with this one. So I'm going to switch over to the fine toothed Andis and see what else I'm going to get. That feels good. Trying to card out a lot of this undercoat so that when I do clip her jacket, it will look really nice and not have all those clipper marks. And really keeping that texture lovely. today to move Betty around the table so that you can see what I'm doing rather than usually walk myself around the table. So it's a little more moving of the dog than I would normally do. Just working on her for a regular groom. to where my skirt lines 
are, so it can blend nicely and seamlessly. lovely May and April. They say April showers bring snow flowers in May. Now with all this carding I'm doing to kind of get the undercoat out, I have to say her jacket looks really nice, nice and smooth. We've been working on her since she was a baby. And while she doesn't have the best coat, I think doing, we do some carding every time she comes in. We are keeping her jacket looking a lot nicer. And then if we just clip it straight through without taking this time to get all this extra undercoat out because she is really thick, fuzzy, fuzzy undercoat kind of girl up here. One thing, Betty does have a lot of thin hair right over her oil gland and her tail. So I'm trying to make a point not to let that show as much. It's pretty easy to trim that a little short there and all of a sudden she's got a big round quarter sized hole on her tail. All right, now with all of that extra, hair out of her jacket and skirt. She is looking really nice. I think I'm gonna get a regular stripping knife and just kind of go over some of those extra spots. Make sure she's looking really good today. I'm holding her skin tight so that I'm not going to irritate her by hitting any wrinkles. When I'm going over her with this and stripping knife, you can see this is still getting out some more. Gentle around her neck. 
thinner, the hair is much thinner here. It's a tender area. body work first, then go to the feet, and then spend my time finishing the head. So that is what I'm going to do today. All prepped and ready for some clipper work. So knowing that her coat can be very easy to see in clipper marks, I'm going to use my wall accurata with a one comb on it. And go down her jacket. This leaves the least amount of lines on her. And since I don't have a clipper back attached on this, I am gonna go over it a few more times. make sure you're still working. All right, looking good. side of her tail so I get a nice clean carrot. I have switched to number two because really that number one is not quite getting what I wanted today from her. As well it's snowing today. It was a gorgeous 58 degree day here yesterday. And I know spring will come soon. So the nice thing about using the trimmer is that I'm really able to be very delicate in my work and skimming the line so that you have a nice blended skirt on her. And looking obviously like, oh my gosh, there's a skirt. feeling down to her shoulder kind of blade bone here, making sure that I get my skirt low enough. So I am feeling the and shoulder off. That's pretty good. I might go back and cheat that a little bit more. Come on, sweet girl. Gives a good idea of what I'm going for. Taught me when you're grooming, comb, comb, comb. So you know what you're working with.
Alright. Can I see your face? Beautiful. So I am be checking for the V. Sorry, I turned her first. I'm going to be checking for the V here. I'm feeling it. So I try to do a nice, beautiful neck grind. I'm going to go reverse right under her chin to really try to make that line nice and tight. So Betty is a sweet girl. She's a bit of a, she's hefty. She's got some big bones on her. So I am feeling, create that nice, oh, good girl. I'm not going to work on her head yet, but just to make sure I've got the lines right. I'm going to comb her hair up. Make sure I'm getting nice and tight behind her ears. I'm going to show off her beautiful neck. particularly beautiful little tiny feet. She's got long quicks even though we trim and buff her nails just as short as we can every time. There's some nice curled shears on her feet. Get everything combed out nice and flat. Also said she's got a really thin kind of wispy skirt. I'm not going to do a lot of sculpting here. I'm gonna go through with my uh, chunkers, do a little bit of blending, but if I did much trimming, she would look naked. I'm try to grow out this skirt as best we can on her. So turn you around. Able to really get shape in. I'm going to do like to pick it up and make sure I've got 
gotten all the hair that needs trimming, especially this little under the pad ones. It seems like you can scissor a bunch and then they always show up. That's pretty much what we're doing with my curves. I am going to switch over to my chunkers to do some blending in and try to tidy them up. Her hair is just so thin. And I don't want it to look like I've done a lot of over scissoring. She's just be a nice rugged westy. I'm going to tidy this up just a little bit to try to minimize the scraggle look. Make sure you're still running properly. Looking good. Aren't you so pretty, Betty? mom likes a bit more of the au natural skirt look here with her so we don't go too heavy on the scissoring of it chunkers and just blend in a little bit more we kind of skirt jacket anal area make sure it looks nice and tidy a little bit of this. She's looking just a little tidier and nicer and more purposefully done. Good grooming is all about working with your pet, I think, and making sure that whatever you're doing highlights them best and shows off their best attributes.
back on her tail. Good girl, Betty. have a really nicely shaped tail. body work is pretty much done. I'm going to work on her head. So when I was doing my prep work during her face feet fanning, I already took my 10 blade into the back top third of her ears. I'm going to take some thinning shears now and go over the front and edges. timer and now it looks like you turn off right at about the 30 minute mark. Set this for 20 minutes just don't check out. So good news, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> so I'm working on her head. Everything's nicely brushed, combed, dried, moosed. We're going to try to get it up there and get a nice full head shape. Start with my curves, do my outside lines.
I'm going to take my thinners and clean up right next to her eyes. I would really like to know that they can see their dog's eyes well. combing everything up. Try to make sure it's nice and even and round, round, round. We do some other recipes, do some other requests. No round heads, very square. All my chunkers here for this. So it looks very natural. I'm going to try taking down a little bit more of the weight here on the sides so that they'll really be able to stand up. So at the length, so it is not weighted down. Same too with the hair under her eyes. I'll try to scissor that a little shorter so it has less weight so it'll stand up better and keep the round look of her face rather than big round head and flat muzzle.
I don't want to be taking a lot of length off the top, so I do want it to look nice and full. So knowing what I've done, I'm going to just take a step back and see how she looks from a distance. I really see where her portions and what she needs working on. Betty! Oh, boy, did good girl. Well, see, I can step back and see from here that I really need to work on her muzzle line. Not even at all, and she definitely needs a little bit more off her right cheek and eye area. Real quick, looks like her mother's back. Hold on. All right, there we go. All right, hi. Sorry about that. We're back to finishing the beautiful Betty. I am going to blend in the back of her head. I don't want too abrupt. I know in some of the grooming books, um, it's a little bit more blunt and obvious, but I don't think that looks very nice. And since Betty is a real girl in a real world, she's just going to look her best for every day. So I am still using my chunkers here to make this look very natural. I think it was just done that way when she rolled out of bed in the morning. Now it is still pretty short. You can see I've gone right up with a two comb behind her ears to really get that nice round and I've gone tight under her jaw. <laughs> Pardon me, I have a new puppy who's learning manners from some of the older dogs and she's being a little frustrating. cheek fairly well fixed. I'm going to fix her muzzle now. I'm going to angle my scissors down to really make sure I'm keeping the lines right. I really, really want to hold them that way. So I kind of blend here her muzzle into her jaw because we are fairly short under her chin. I want it to blend beautifully. chunkers next and really just go all around her jaw here just to make sure it's really well blended. Again, to make see if there's anything else I've missed or see what area needs still some working on. <gasps> Betty! <laughs> Good girl. I do need a little bit more on the outer edge of her left ear. Betty! And a little bit more on that jawline yet again, especially on the left. It's a little too long near the front. But just a little bit. And with that, I think the 
lovely Betty is done and ready to go home to her wonderful mama. Thank you so much. <laughs>